I just want to uh, offer you a really warm welcome here to DreamWorld tonight. This is a tremendous, momentous occasion for us and we're just really excited to have you out here. Um, I'm particularly excited to see some really friendly faces in the crowd. Um, and, you know, for us, such an important night. I'm so, so humbled to be able to share it with a lot of our friends and supporters here tonight. So, again, thank you all for coming. Before I get into it, though, I want to have a quick chat about our DreamWorld team. And I think we've got a few of them here tonight. So before we kind of start talking properly, I want all the DreamWorld people... And this is again Theme Parks 101 because we've got a crowd and we want people to come through a crowd and that doesn't work very well. But I want all the Dreamworld people to come up here with me. Come on up, let's go. Give them a round of applause, guys. And if you're next to a Dreamworld person that's not coming up here, you need to tell them to come up here. And you guys got to stand in front of me. Come on, get up in the front. Block the light, it's okay, they can see. So I'm really, really proud to have these guys with us here tonight. This is Australia's best theme park team and I often um, ride these guys really hard for what we're trying to do in this place and they will, they will tell you that um, the last few weeks have been pretty full on. But um, I could not be prouder of this team. Um, I am so proud of every one of you guys, what you've done here tonight. It's just been tremendous. So big uh, uh, round of applause for all these guys and all the fantastic effort they've been doing. So this ride's been a bit of a uh, bit of an effort, as you might know. Now everyone's going to stand awkwardly. Uh, <laughs> but it started off somewhere in Germany, getting built and sitting in a paddock for a long, long time. We were tremendously excited about it, and then the world changed, and we've been going through some really, really difficult times. And that's not been just us, but everyone um, has had a tough time over the last few years. Um, so I, I, I cannot tell you how excited we are today to have this thing up like this. We, we just wouldn't have thought it, you know, even a year ago. I can tell you now we were looking at the car park at this thing in the car park and going, shit, is this thing going <laughs> to happen? Um, but here we are, um, and it's worked out really, really well. So we've been around for 40 years, and um, I often say to people here that if people go, oh, what's it like being the CEO of Dreamworld? Oh, look, it's good, but I'm, I'm really just a professional carny and I've got a lot of really good people around me that make me kind of look reasonable. Um, but it, it would not be, you know, we could not have written the script any better than to open our biggest ride ever. This is the most money we've ever spent on any attraction in the history of Dreamworld. Um, and to be opening it on our 40th birthday is just a tremendous um, and exciting achievement. So, again, a really fantastic thing. Um, and we're so humbled to have you guys here um, joining us for what is a just, you know, I, I think one of those once-in-a-lifetime occasions. You know, you'll look back on this and go, well, I was there when it all happened. Um, so, again, big round of applause to every one of you for coming out tonight and joining us for this. But um, I'm not going to talk on for too long because uh, wherever Carla is, she's probably going, please, stop, don't. Um, so I won't talk for too long. I really want you to get amongst it tonight. This is all about having a good time. This is not about speeches. So I want you to get out tonight, eat, drink, take in the entertainment, some really fun stuff out there. Um, and really, we're about trying to make new memories. You know, we've had a, a bit of a time, you know, over the last little while, both for Dreamworld and I think the world moreover. Um, you know, those are memories of the distant past. And what we're about now is making new memories. And this is your chance to help us out tonight. Make those new memories get on social media, help us post that out and really share what is a fantastic story. And I often talk to the marketing guys here and I go, geez, we've got a fantastic story to tell. We're just going to tell people about it. So, you know, if you can help us out with that, share this, we'd really, really appreciate it. So um, as much of that as you can do would be fantastic. Now, I think we're all here to do one thing, though, and um, that's to ride this fantastic looking thing. Now, I've been here for, for a little while and I've been doing a fair bit of media of late, so I've said, I think, 300 times about these stats. But I'm just going to run you through them one more time. 1.2 kilometres of track, 105 kilometres an hour, 3.8 Gs, four inversions. We give you Australia and Southern Hemisphere's first triple-launch coaster. Still, Taipan, give us a round of applause. Applause. 